Okay, so this is my homemade transfer switch. It's composed of two fuse breakers. Here, there's two fuses. Two in there, two in there. It's attached to a 120 volt female connector. And the other fuse breaker is connect to 120 volt. Generator side, normal power side. So on the normal power side, the fuse breaker goes to your transformer. All black wiring is 120 volts. All red wiring is 24 volts. So this transformer is transforming 120 volts to 24 volts for the control side of my circuit. So after the transformer on the 24 volt side, it controls this timer here. Once this timer gets the control 24 volts, it starts a countdown. Once that countdown is reached, it connects the neutral side of my circuit, then sending power to the coil on my output relay. So this is this one half here is my normal side of my circuit. This half is my generator side. Well, my simulated generator side. But both sides send their 120 volts through this relay. This relay is redundant and it's only being used as uh, a light. See, there's two lights here. So when power is available, generator, this light will be on. For generator side, when power is available on my normal side, this light will be on. So I'm going to go ahead and plug them both in. Start with the normal power side. And wait for that. The timer started its countdown. And then once the timer runs out, it uh, sends power through my relay from my 120 volt side right through my relay and activates my light, my load. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my generator side. Same thing's going to happen on this side. Once the timer runs out, this light lights up. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in because the timer's set very short. I want to demonstrate. Timer starts countdown. This is power. Now there's power available on generator side and normal power side. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate a power outage on my normal side of my circuit. So I'm going to unplug this guy right here. It's normal power. Unplug this and my light should not go out. So my light didn't go out, but I have power available on my generator side. So the generator did its job essentially so i'm going to go ahead and plug this back in wait for my timer boom sending 120 volts to my load now and my circuit is set up so once normal power is available it prioritizes normal power and sends the power through my normal side to my load so I'm going to go ahead and unplug the generator. So that's the top plug here. Normal power has priority. So when I plug both in, normal power has priority. And that's basically my homemade transfer switch.